There are so many videos and websites out there that preach that quilts are better than sleeping bags. But are they? In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the differences between each, dispelling some of the myths between each, and then helping you decide which one is right for you. And then I'm gonna tell you when I personally love using a quilt and I love using a sleeping bag. So if you're new to this channel, I film a lot of videos in my backyard. I hike a lot, a lot, a lot. But it's nice to film in my backyard because then I'm actually home and it's nice to be home once in a while. But check out this tent. Tell me if you want me to do a full review on this or not really a review, more of a first impressions because I just picked this up. This is the Mountain Hardware Strato two-person tent. It's an ultralight tent and it's been sitting in my backyard for two days in pouring rain and so just kind of testing it out. And I'm gonna take it to South Dakota uh, this upcoming week for a backpacking trip and uh, I'm gonna try it out. So let me know in the comments below if you want me to do uh, a video on this tent. All right, let's talk about the differences. So just as an example, I've got a couple of different options here. I have the Thermarest Chorus Quilt, and I also have the Big Agnes Torchlight UL Sleeping Bag. I think we all know what a sleeping bag is, right? Um, unless you're like super new to backpacking, and you're used to like the rectangled sleeping bag that your mom bought you like to sleep in the living room when you were a kid. Backpacking sleeping bags are a little bit different. They are more of a mummy shape in most situations, and most of them have a hood. Uh, some of them zip halfway down, some of them zip all the way down. Some of them are really roomy, some of them are very constricting. So essentially a sleeping bag has complete insulation all the way around you, like almost 100%, and you can cinch it like up to like your nose and your mouth if you absolutely need to. So a quilt is essentially a minimalist sleeping bag. It's like the least amount of a sleeping bag they can make that will still be useful to you <laughs> in the back country to hopefully keep you warm and cozy all night long, just like a sleeping bag. So quilts um, don't zip up. Uh, they might zip up down by your foot into a foot box. Um, quilts don't have a hood to them. So you can't, you know, put that hood up on you overnight if you like doing that with a sleeping bag. Although you can just wear your jacket overnight as long as it's got a hood on it and you could even just wear a hat if you wanted to. Quilts are typically extremely lightweight when compared to a sleeping bag because there's obviously a lot less materials. Um, and then they're also a lot more packable than a sleeping bag for obviously the same reason. And quilts are really nice to be able to get in and out of without the zipper there because that way you can just, you know, quickly go to the bathroom if you have to in the middle of the night. So there's a ton of myths about quilts and a ton of myths about sleeping bags. So let's kind of dispel some of the myths that at least I've heard that I don't necessarily think are true. So there's two big myths with quilts. So the first myth is if you have pad straps, it's going to end those drafts all together and you're never gonna be cold at night. The straps attach to the quilt and then they wrap around underneath the pad and then back to the other side of your quilt and then that holds the quilt in place as you're sleeping on your sleeping pad. Now a pad strap absolutely does help and it can eliminate it if you're not the type of person that rolls around all night, but I roll around all night. So I'm almost always, at least once or twice a night, finding that I get cold drafts even with pad straps on my quilts. So the second myth is that quilts can't keep you as warm as a sleeping bag. I find this to be completely not true. As a matter of fact, if used properly, Quilts are extremely warm. All right, what about sleeping bag myths? I think there's really two that come up the most. One is, is that sleeping bags are gonna be very claustrophobic. If you do your homework when you're researching sleeping bags, you can find sleeping bags that have a lot of wiggle room in them and don't have a ton of dead air in them to keep you cold all night long, and you can still roll around with them. And also some sleeping bags actually have pad straps as well to help hold them in place. Another myth that people say about sleeping bags all the time, and I hear it all the time, is that when you're laying in your sleeping bag and you're laying on the insulation underneath you that it's not gonna help provide any warmth. Now, that's not true at all because there is still material underneath you. Now, it may be a very small amount of material, but it is some material and therefore it is actually going to be providing some insulation even though it's obviously limited. So in your sleeping bag, you actually have the ability to have warmth completely all the way around you and a small amount of warmth underneath you to help enhance the sleeping pad as it's working to provide warmth as well. 
Now, unlike a quilt, where that quilt is just laying on top of you and underneath you, you are literally relying on just the sleeping pad to provide its warmth for you. And by the way, if you've got the wrong sleeping pad, it's gonna ruin either one of these, the sleeping bag or the quilt. It's gotta be a properly rated sleeping pad for the sleeping quilt or sleeping bag as a system to provide warmth effectively all night long for whatever condition you're planning on being in. Both the Big Agnes Torchlight Sleeping Bag and the Thermarest Chorus Quilt can be found at backcountry.com. And the Chorus is very cool because um, it has the ability to wrap around your feet, just your feet, or you can actually wrap it around the sleeping pad and your feet, and that helps hold it in place. And it also has pad straps around the back as well. Just a really nice quilt overall. The Big Agnes uh, Torchlight is a really great sleeping bag because it has the ability to literally expand any area you like without losing any insulation. So if you want a bigger foot box, for instance, you can do that. If you want uh, more room by your arms, you can do that. If you like a snug fit, you can do that as well. So it's a very cool sleeping bag for a lot of different uh, situations and different sleeping types and just different people all together. Now, if you aren't sure one of these examples are gonna work for you, all you've gotta do is jump on backcountry.com and talk to one of their gearheads. Their gearheads are former Olympians, former athletes, former trail guides, and can easily help you pick the right quilt or sleeping bag that'll be perfect for your next trip. I've included a link in the description below, as well as a coupon code DANB15 for 15% off your first purchase. Some exclusions do apply. I'm just gonna tell you that I love both 100% equally in different situations. The reason I like to use a quilt is when it's warm outside. So summertime, you know, late spring, early fall, maybe even to some of the fringe temperatures, you're definitely gonna see me using a quilt. Now, when I love to use a sleeping bag is obviously in colder temperatures or when I'm going to hike, let's say in the mountains and I'm gonna be at different elevation points and maybe I'm gonna be at a, a warmer elevation point because I'm only at maybe 2,000 feet or I'm gonna hike up to like 8,000 feet and it's gonna get much colder. And then I want that versatility. I want to have that ability to be completely cocooned because I don't wanna to have to think about, I don't even wanna to have to even consider the fact that a draft is going to come in. And you may be thinking, well, Dan, uh, those pad straps do work. They will stop those drafts, but I roll around a lot. And I've spent a ton of time in quilts in all different situations, well below freezing to hot temperatures and as well as sleeping bags in hot temperatures and well below freezing. And for those reasons, I love using my quilt in the fringe temperatures into the summer and my sleeping bag in colder weather and colder climates. So if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button, also subscribe for more. Make sure you hit the bell notification so that I can send you a video every time it's released. And I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.